Hello and welcome to Teacher Inspiration Station. In today's video, I want to share with you how I plan on setting up my happy planner for next school year. Now, last year I picked up a classic size happy planner and I regretted my decision because the whole point of a disbound system like the happy planner is I can customize it. I can put sheets in, I can take sheets out, and I felt the classic was a little too small for me to be able to do that. So this year I said I am getting the big happy planner and that is just what I did. So in order for me to utilize that feature of the disbound, I felt like I had to pick up a few accessories in order to execute my, my vision, my plan. So I picked up some items and these are just one-time purchases. I don't feel like I have to keep buying ish i'll show you i'll show you what i got i'll let you i'll show you what i got i'll let you know what i mean so i grabbed these um expander metal discs and i plan on putting pages into the happy planner and i don't know if these are gonna be big enough so i grabbed the extender rings and i also they're metal and apparently the pages move better on the metal ones i don't know it doesn't matter because the plastics are fine but i just went with this one i really wanted the gold metal ones but i didn't have it so i went with pink but it's fine because pink matches my planner perfectly so i went with these and then i i grabbed the hole punch this is one of those purchases that I knew that I probably would need if I'm going to stick pages in, I'm going to need to punch holes in them, but I didn't want to buy it. So I was like, I think I need it, but I don't want to buy it. I don't pay for it. So even at one point I put it in my cart and I brought it to the checkout and then I put it back and then two days later I ended up buying it. So what was the point of that? But anyways, um, so yeah, I just picked it up. I just said, you know what, let me just grab it because I'm going to need it. I'm going to be using it all the time. So this was a part of their everyday value. This was $30. Keep in mind, I'm in Canada, so there's that. And then I picked up these pocket dividers. Now, Staples has a brand called Arc, and that's their version of that whole disbound system. And I originally was going to get Happy Planner, but when I went to check out on Amazon, I was reading the reviews, and people said it couldn't fit an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I thought... No, it can. I'm sure it can. So I do have one because it came with my happy planner. And I did the test and I wasn't impressed. So here's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. And it doesn't fit. So I thought, what's the point? That's what I need it for. I need to stick some papers in. And I don't want to fold papers and do all that so this one that I ended up buying I know that it fits standard size papers in here and it has a pocket on the front it has a pocket on the back great so I grabbed that next thing I picked up were these dividers by Staples it's the arc system once again and I was gonna go with happy planner but sometimes happy planner is a little too happy and pretty and so i just i'm like i just want plain i want clean basic so these are as boring as they can get uh and i just i'll just stick a label on it and it won't be you know distracting with some florals or something on it so i'm okay with this grab that and then this is one of those purchases where i feel like i need more of and that is just regular sheet protectors i wish i could get these really easily at the dollar store like i can get the other ones but I can't. So this is by a brand called Circa. And my Amazon only had one package left. So I was only able to buy one package of five. But I feel like I'm going to need a lot. I feel like I'm going to need a bunch. So um, they said more are on the way. And I could order it from the States because the States does have a package of 25. But we'll see. We'll see. I, it's not an emergency. It's not something I really need right this second. I do wish I could make some because I did try and make it. <laughs> With a regular sheet protector in my hole punch and it didn't, it didn't no look at all this it didn't work out for me it really didn't work out it has tears it, yeah it, it didn't work out i did try but yeah it's not gonna work so whatever i'll just get more when they arrive at my staples 
And last but not least, I picked up this paper. I didn't need it. This is definitely a want. Um, but whenever I'm taking notes, I want to keep all my notes in my planner when I like staff meetings and things like that. So I just decided to pick up some paper. I could have made my own with some paper, punched some holes in it, but whatever. I just grabbed the Happy Planner brand. And that is it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you how I set it up. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so here's the planner. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take out August because I don't need August. So all of this here, reference notes to the substitute. This is not for the substitute teacher. This is for me. So I have a separate binder that I use for supply teachers. So I do not need this. So all of this is going. Let's pull these out. And I will keep... I'll keep this page, but everything else is going. Okay, put it aside. And I also don't need July. The school ends in June for me, so I'm going to take out July. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to quickly uh, just change out the rings. If I can find my rings, that would be great. Okay, so switch out the rings. Yeah, they're a lot bigger. Just do that. Adrian, Adrian, please, please. Okay, almost done here. This was not a fun process, and let me tell you that. <laughs> that was not fun at all. But anyway, not everything in life is fun. But they're in! Yay! Nice. Okay, so this would this should fit everything that I need it to fit. So now what I'm gonna do is I told you that that section I had that I didn't really need. What, what, where is it? Hold on. Let me just show you what I took out that I don't really need to have in there. Um, yeah, so this part here, and it has um, a section for me to put, uh, I guess this is just at a glance. I don't need this because my province has a calendar where it puts all the holidays, PD days and things like that. So I figured that would be a lot more useful for me to put in my planner. So here it is. So I'm just gonna punch, punch a hole in it. Let's see. So there's lines here. You just kind of line them up with the lines, and boom! Yeah! And yeah. it just goes in. Yeah. And you know what I could do to take it a step further is I could add some tape, like even some washi tape. Actually, I'm going to do that. Add some washi tape and just kind of paste them together. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm just going to rip it. It's going to be the distressed effect. i got time to, to make it all straight with a pair of scissors right now. Um, yeah, just do that. Fold it over. And some at the top. Okay, so I've taped that on, and actually I can tape, mm, I can also do it at the side, but I'm not going to. I'll just leave it like that, that's fine. And then, yeah, I just wanted to have this page here where I can put like student birthdays, top priorities, and all that. 
And now what I want to add here is my schedule for the school year. So punching the holes and sticking that in. This is so easy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. I love things that are easy. And then I'm just going to add some stickers as well because it's looking kind of plain to me. So I have my Happy Planner stickers here. Literally, just like a pencil or something. Yeah, we'll just keep it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it simple. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll just do this. Boom. And <laughs> boom, and stick it in. So it's cute. Doesn't like cute. Okay, so that's in there. And then what else do I want to put? I do want to put my long range plans in here. So what I went ahead and I did. So I made these dividers and I just put labels on it and just attached it with some washi tape. This seems to work. Um, it doesn't seem like it'll come off. So yeah, that's what I did. And also with my, my pockets um, dividers. So long range plans will be next. And these fit nicely in. This is, like I said, this is the, the Staples Arc. And they fit a little stiff right now, but it'll, it'll loosen up. There you go. It's actually not as smooth as I'd like it to be. Uh-oh. It's not as smooth as I'd like it to be. It does feel tight. It's not, it's not, um, it's not smooth and that's going to drive me crazy. Maybe I have to just loosen it up or I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, it's, it's really tight. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But uh, my long range plans are right here. So I just need to punch holes in them so I can stick them in here. Where is the hole punch? Ah, here it is. Now these are on a bit of a thicker paper. It's like a cardstock. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll just do two at a time. That should be fine, right? Yeah, you're gonna wanna do these a couple at a time because look at what I did. I messed up the bottoms here because it, it wasn't perfectly aligned in there. These, the rest of these seem fine. Yeah, no, I messed these ones up too. Man, woman. You see when you try and like rush things, how it just doesn't work out for you? That's yeah. what I was trying to do, rush it. Yeah. I yeah. did the lazy way of just doing a bunch and it didn't work out. So max two if you're using cardstock. This is cardstock. I would even do, yeah, I'd do one, but max two. So that's that. So the long range plans are in here. So I'm going to put the newsletters here. So basically what I did is, um, uh oh, I'm missing one. So basically what I did is I just stuck um, labels on it with washi. These are the pockets. And any newsletters or notes that I send home, I'm just gonna keep them in here just to keep things organized and so I know what I sent home, what I didn't. So notes home, notes like um, my reading program or my homework policy, uh, things like that. Just little notes that I send home to parents. And then a newsletter. So every month we do a newsletter and I'll just keep them in here. So it's just like a bit of a communication piece, what my communication has been with my parents. It's a nice place to keep them in. These move a lot better than the dividers. So 
I like these, but the dividers don't seem to move very uh, smoothly, and I need to figure out how to fix that. Um, yeah, but these work fine. These dividers I like. So that's what I'm going to put there. We have these things called in support school team meetings and school support team meetings. You bring students up who you have concerns about, either behavioral concerns, academic concerns. And before you go to these meetings, there's a form you need to fill out. And, um, and during the meetings, we kind of update the form and talk about like what our next steps are going to be. So I just want a place where I can just keep those forms. So um, I thought sticking it in here would be a good idea okay I just realized that this stopped recording so where I left off at were these IST <laughs> forms so yeah IST forms and things like that I have a spot to put them in this divider moves a lot smoother than the blue one did so I guess it was a default or like a what's the word I'm looking for a defect in that blue one um, I gotta figure out how to make these a little wider, but this one is a lot smoother. So I went ahead and I added some a sheet protector. So each each um, form will have its own sheet protector. So hence the reason why I need a few more of these. And then I put in an IEP divider, and you guys know IEPs, and each IEP will have its own. See, this moves a lot smoother than the blue one. Anyway. So there's that and a, a sheet for the IEP. And then I included think sheets. So these will be, let me slip it out, let me show you. So basically what it is, um, circle where I had an inappropriate behavior, classroom, lunchroom, playground, hall, restroom, which rule did I break, how I feel about my appropriate behavior, next time I will, and then student signature, staff signature, and parent signature. I don't always get the parents to sign these, Just, I guess it depends on what the child did. To be honest, this is not the one that I use. The one that I use is at school and I don't have a copy here. Um, I don't know where I got it from, I just have it. My school, we use that one. But it has the rules on the side and it's a nice visual for kids to um, see. But I just wanted to include one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So put it in there, okay. Here, okay. And then here I have uh, communication logs. So how I'm doing it this year is I just put the student name, date, and method of communication, and notes. The ones I used last year just had the student name at the top and then a place for me to keep all of the communications. But this, I'm just gonna have it where um, it can be two students on one page. I'll photocopy it front and back. I'm just gonna do it like this this year. We'll see how that works for me. I don't know, but um, yeah, we'll see. And then here we have staff meetings and workshops. So you know when you go to staff meetings how they give you handouts and things like that. So it'll just be a nice place for me to keep everything. Um, yeah, just kind of slip them in the pocket page protector. And I also now want to add in some note paper pages. So I'm just going to add a few from the happy planner here. And yeah, so when I go in my meetings and I take my notes, I can just have them all in one place. Oh my goodness, look at what I'm doing. I'm ripping the paper. Look at this. My goodness me. Yeah. It's just one sheet. But still, I need to I need to be a bit more careful. <laughs> anyway, so I just stick them in. And I'll add more as I as I need them, but for now it's good. And then here now we get into the the planning pages. And so I just want to quickly show you. So if you have been following my channel, you may have seen this video that I made about how I plan on planning in my Happy Planner. And uh, with Microsoft Word, I just made a table using rows and columns. And this is how I'm going to do it. Now I know that I can print directly onto the Happy Planner pages. But 
I don't print at home. I print at school and the printer's on the third floor. It's enough part of the photocopier. I would have to go to the third floor, load my paper in, keep my fingers crossed that no one will print while the time I go upstairs and come Like it's just a pain for me. It's easier for me to just print it regularly and just stick it in. So at this time in my life, this is the easiest choice. So I'm gonna roll with it. Um, and I'll let you know how this works for me. But I think that is it. I think I'm all set up for the school year. And like I said before, oh no, there's something I wanted to add. I wanna add in these, um, where is it? Where should I add it? I think I'm gonna add it in over here. So you see how my long range plans are? I have like reader's workshop, I have writer's workshop, and then my math is a bit more specific. Like I have the different strands and what I'm gonna teach during the month. So mine for language isn't so detailed. So what I have printed are the expectations from the Ontario curriculum for oral communication, reading, writing, and media literacy. So I just wanted to stick these in. So I think I can get away with punching all of these at once because the papers are a little thinner than the cardstock. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm, I'll be careful this time. I'll be careful. Yeah, oh yes, good job, Melissa, good job. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick these in here. There it is, so woohoo! All set up. You're also put time. Again, I need I really need to fix this. Maybe the other pack, I don't want to open it. Maybe the other pack will be better. Um because this one is really tight. The other ones are not as tight, but this one is. So this is gonna be a pain. I'm just gonna take it out because I know it's gonna be a pain. <laughs> so we'll just do that and then uh have these like that. So how thick is this? Uh that's pretty good. Not not too thick. And that is it. So I will let you know how this is working for me. I Last year I used a binder, but the binder was just so big and I just had to flip a bunch of pages over to flip the, I, I don't know. I just didn't find it the most practical. So I just feel like the Happy Planner is nice and neat and compact and whatever doesn't fit in the Happy Planner, I'm gonna put in my file folder here. And yeah, just, just, Certain, yeah, like certain things I'll just put in here if it's not working for me. And yeah, we'll see, we'll make it work. I'll do an updated video and let you know how it's working. If you like this video, you know what to do. Thumb it up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.